Hey Nicole, hey David, it's Coach Matt over here at Primal Athlete Training Center in Rhode Island. Uh, first of all, just wanted to say a big thank you for trusting me to do the video analysis for you. Um, I know you guys kind of, like everybody else, you found, my, found me through Facebook or YouTube, um, but rest assured, I mean, we're going to go through today and give some pretty big tips on how to improve your hammer throw. Now, as a background, uh, David had written me saying, Nicole, that you've only practiced the hammer uh, for the past five weeks only about 10 times and there is a coach that you've worked with a few times before out in Colorado um, unfortunately that coach is two and a half hours uh, hour drive away from you so doing something like this video analysis is going to be a great supplement to your practice and my goal for today is basically just to take a look at your throw in real time and show you one or two things just you know a small handful of things that you can work on um, before the meet that you have coming up in a few days to improve your throw and hopefully get a nice big PR at this uh, regional uh, USATF meet so let's take a look here let's go through again great throw 115 feet 6 inches for only throwing a couple of times is uh, or only practicing for five weeks is a very big uh, big throw so you still got plenty of work to do there's no question there and no problem with the video either being on an iPhone as long as I can see your feet as long as I can see the entire throw that's all I need so let's take a look, quick look here first we've got three winds around the head you've got a three turn approach okay so that was your first attempt second attempt again don't worry about the iPhone as long as I can see the feet as long as I can see the head and the hammer we're good so let's take a look I know it said in the video that your best throw is your sixth attempt so let's take a look at these two three winds one two three turns now on both of those we're seeing some under turning meaning that uh, basically you're under rotating you're not turning all the way around um, what we're going to be talking about today is getting your feet to 270. Um, so we're going to explain what that means to you here. And that's what I want to see you practice on is getting the feet to 270. Now again, not a bad throw, but you can see you're not moving down the middle of that circle. You're kind of moving off here to the left sector. And guaranteed a few of these, even though they might be in, they might be measurable throws, uh, they're probably all going down that left sector. So this is, I believe, throw number four. Let's take a look here. I think that was four winds. Yep, again, you're going down that right sector. That time you went to walk out the front, so more than likely, that was a right sector foul. Let's take a look at number five. Now, these all have a pretty common theme in that you're driving down that right sector. Okay, so we're going to explain why, and that's going to be what we're going to work on. One, two, three, one, two, three, and again, down the right sector. Sixth attempt. Now, this was your PR. This was your best throw of the day, and this is also what I believe got you second place. So let's take a look and see if we can find a difference between this throw and the other five throws that you've shown in this video. So let's take a look. One, two, three. Okay. Almost by accident, what we've done here is you've corrected. The first throw, or the first turn, I should say, was a big underturn. You under rotated. So as you come around, check this out. We want to see both of these feet pointing toward 270. And right here, you don't do a bad job of it. The foot itself, what we mean by 270 is, if you think of this circle as a clock, okay, you 12 o'clock up here, that is 360 or zero. Some people call it the zero point. Right around here is going to be 90 degrees. The front of the circle is 180 degrees. The right side, the left side of the circle, right over here that's going to be 270 and then again back up to 0 or 360 so 0 90 180 270 back up to 0 now if you notice your feet let's take a look at what's happening we want both of those feet pointing towards 270 and right here we've got our feet that are pointing more towards the 9 between 90 and 180 now as you finish here, you see what you do is you over-rotate. The over-rotation 
corrects the under rotation that's a pretty good one and what happens we've got a nice clean throw pretty big release so what we want to work on is as you turn okay we want your feet to be pointing toward 270 so right there they're pointed toward uh, 180 as you come around you can see your feet are kinda of getting all twisted up there we're gonna start moving again and again we're pointing toward 180 the feet are getting twisted and look at where you're going down that right sector turn again look at where the feet are pointing look at where you're going and again we're not over here at 270 we're pointing down here somewhere so that's going to lead to severe under rotation and it's going to have you throwing down that right sector line okay so what we want to do the other video that you sent was of your hammer practice okay so during this practice you do a lot of practice turns okay so let's take a look you can see how your feet are getting twisted around and from this angle 270 would be right around here toward this back corner and look where your feet are pointing you're not at this corner you're between 270 and 180 but we need you all the way over to 270 so let's take a look now we're gonna start to see those feet getting tripped up right there again the foot is pointing toward 180 and we need that foot to keep turning all the way to 270 somewhere over here you can see where the feet are pointing so that's really what I want you to focus on this week Whoa, that time you picked your foot right up but that's what we want to focus on this week I want you doing this drill that you're doing right now where you're just walking with the hammer walking and turning walking and turning with that hammer but really focus really concentrate your energy on getting your feet pointed at 270 as you come around so that way you're not under rotating okay you're not going to uh, get all kind of twisted up with the feet and start tripping yourself with the feet and pushing yourself down that right sector pointing yourself toward 270 that's going to ensure that your your turns are working well that's going to ensure that you're uh, basically moving the feet in the right direction and allowing that hammer. Now right here is not bad, you just keep lifting that left foot off. Okay, we've got a couple of them pointed at 270 and a couple of them you're making like a letter S shape. So again, not bad. For only doing this for 10 practices, that's not a bad throw. Not a bad throw. We've got athletes that have worked with us for 10 weeks who their throws look similar to this with coaching every single time. Okay. One other thing that I want to work with you are these wines around the head. I will let's stick with two wines and three turns. That's what I'd like to see you do during the meet. Three wines, there's no real purpose to this third wine. All of your wines are going the same speed for the most part. Just, in my opinion, that's just going to be an energy waster. Okay, so let's work on two wines around the head and then three turns focusing on getting your feet pointed toward 270. So two winds, three turns, and a big release at the end, feet pointing at 270. So that is what I would like you to work on this week. Uh, don't try to get crazy and correct a lot of other stuff that you might have noticed in watching other videos and watching your own videos. Really just make sure that um, you correct little by little, inch by inch is a cinch yard by yard is hard it's sort of the old adage in track and field so make sure that you're just correcting those two things they're both big things they're gonna take you a few days of practice to work on but if you get those corrected your throw is gonna be much more comfortable okay you're gonna be able to really push the heck out of that ball and have a lot of torque and have a lot of power at the end of your throw you'll be under control you'll have better balance and overall your throw is gonna go a lot further so again thank you very much for sending in the video I really appreciate it thank you for trusting me and again uh, keep them coming it's one of these things where whenever you need help I will be here to help you out and uh, you know if there's any other questions that you have shoot me over an email I'd be happy to help you out talk to you soon